Welcome! In this video, we're going to show a brief introduction to KDAP. KDAP is a Kubernetes operator dedicated to backups, available as a Helm chart, and compatible with OpenShift and plain Kubernetes. This operator solves an elementary yet fundamental problem to ensure that the information in your pods and microservices can be quickly and safely restored in case of an incident. This request is so common among our customers that we are Vision decided to create KDAP and we have been using it in productions since 2018. KDAP allows cluster users and administrators to perform individual on-demand backups, to schedule backups to be executed regularly, to backup the output of any program capable of writing to the console, to monitor backups using Prometheus, to use a dedicated command line tool to inspect backups, and so much more. KDAP is written in the GoProming language and is an open source, Cloud Native Computing Foundation sandbox project hosted in GitHub. KDAP is based on Restic, a powerful open source backup solution written in Go. This is the main website of the project at kdap.io. To show KDAP in action, we're going to use it to backup a WordPress blog hosted on Apuyo Cloud, our OpenShift based platform as a service. Apuyo Cloud Zones have KDAP built in, but you can effortlessly install KDAP in any Kubernetes or OpenShift cluster just by running the following two commands. WordPress usually stores its information in a MySQL or MariaDB database. We have created the MySQL database using AppCat, the exclusive software provisioning service included with Apuyo Cloud. We can create a MySQL database applying the following YAML, and once the database is provisioned, its connection information is stored in a secret called database secret. Furthermore, we will use this secret to configure a rather standard Kubernetes deployment of WordPress. KDAP stores the backup of your cluster using Restic, a tool able to store backups in S3 buckets. We could use Minio or AWS S3 for that, but for convenience, we're going to request an S3 bucket with AppCat using an object bucket resource. Our WordPress blog requires a persistent volume claim to store the images uploaded by the blog authors. We want to make sure that they are backed up by KDAP as well, so we applied a kdap.io slash backup equal true annotation on our claim. KDAP automatically backs up all persistent volume claims, either marked as read-write ones or read-write many that contain this annotation. But what about the database? Given how databases work, we cannot just back up the database's files because we run the risk of data corruption. Instead, it is much better to store the output of the MySQL dump command. For this reason, we need an object of type pre-backup pod. This object is part of the custom resource definitions installed by the KDAP operator. A pre-backup pod runs, as the name implies, before a backup runs. It stores the output of any command writing to the console, making it a very flexible mechanism, ready to store the data of any application running on your cluster. The command used by KDAP is specified in the spec.backup command field of our YAML. Let us apply this object to our cluster. It will stay idle until KDAP calls it. This is the home page of our blog, ready to be protected by a backup. We have several blog posts and a few images. Those images are stored in the well-known WP content folder of WordPress, while the text of the blog posts exists in the tables of the MySQL database. Let us trigger a single backup using a backup KDAP object. This object uses the S3 bucket previously created using AppCat, but you can use any S3 compatible bucket. The connection details to the S3 bucket are contained inside the object bucket secret inside your namespace or OpenShift project. The backup operation will only take a few moments to complete.
To verify the existence of our backup, we can use the open source RESTIC tool locally on our computer. RESTIC requires a few environment variables to connect to the S3 bucket and to open the backup repository contained within. We can feed our terminal with those variables using this script. Now we can use the command RESTIC to list the backup snapshots available on the S3 bucket. We see that there are two different objects backed up. First, the database output, and second, the contents of the persistent volume claim used by WordPress. Let us restore locally those two things and verify that they contain the data we need. Using the RISTIC restore command, specifying the unique hash of each snapshot, we can inspect the contents of the backup. We verify that the MySQL dump contains all the definitions of tables and data. And then we see that the persistent volume claim contains the required WP content folder with all of the images inside. We have safely backed up our blog. Now that we have a working setup, let's automate the process of backups. KDAP includes a schedule object, which will very conveniently wake up and trigger a backup of your assets regularly. The schedule custom resource definition requires a configuration in the form of a standard cron syntax. In this example, we are triggering a new backup every two minutes. We leave the cluster running for around 15 minutes and now the output of the RESTIC command shows plenty of backup snapshots ready to be restored. KDAP provides a simple to use yet powerful mechanism to backup the data of your cloud native applications. But don't take our word for it, KDAP is available out of the box on Apoyo Cloud. Create your own Apoyo Cloud account today and test KDAP by yourself. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Thanks for watching.